Hi, it's Brittany from the Emporium. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to make a foldable dice tray. It's so cool. I love it. Um, anyways, take this out. So it is foldable, as in it snaps together and it folds flat. So transporting this, if you're someone who travels to go game, um, specifically we play D&D with our dice, but it's so cool. I love it. Um, this was pretty easy to make. I uh, searched some DIY foldable dice trays, watched a couple tutorials, read a couple vlogs, um, and just kind of decided how I wanted to do it. Um, I used two different vinyl prints from Retro Stitch Fabrics, and I used my brand new tiny, not tiny, just my E, my simplified logo um, tag from the Heartwood and Hide. I used some cam snaps and then I edge coated. So if you wanted to make this not with like raw edge material vinyl, you would just need to um, sew together and turn it right side out and top stitch. But we stitched around the edges and then also here I put some Deckville Heavy inside Quick, fun, easy, great gift for the gamer in your life. Uh, I think my dad's going to get this. Hopefully he doesn't watch this. I want him to be surprised. He's going to see the video. It's fine. This is releasing as part of my 13 Days of Christmas video series. If you haven't checked that out yet, I would absolutely love if you did. We're almost done. But there's a whole playlist so you can go back and watch if you missed them. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're going to make one. George. He's so cute. Okay, George. So I cut two squares, 10 inches. I think I'm going to like this size. And I cut one square of Decaville Heavy. Um, I did six and three fourths. For the square. I had watched and looked up a couple DIY tutorials and I think I'm gonna like this size but you can change the size. So one tutorial recommended you cut cardboard three inches smaller so that your um, edges are an inch and a half but I want to instead of like gluing everything together um I want to fuse this and then once they're together I want to stitch around so I want to stitch at the inch and a half mark so I cut this a fourth of an inch less so I'm not stitching over it just around it I think it's gonna work so I need to make a mark on each side that is one and five eighths to line up. Oh, which side am I doing on the outside? I think I'm going to do maps on the inside. Yeah. Okay. So one and five eighths. Sorry, I did not finish my cough drop before I started. <laughs> Had a lot of sinus problems lately. Okay. Also, there it goes. Okay. So. Yes. Okay. I'm going to fuse this down real quick. I'm going to just heat the glue up. Someone asked me if I was worried about my heat press being on something um, not sturdy, but it's, it's just on wheels. I just don't lock them because I like to move it around. Okay. 
I'm gonna burp my hand. It's fine. So I'm gonna let this um, fuse together. And then we'll just clip it together over at the sewing machine. So that's where he went. He's having a bad eye day. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so we have our two squares and then the one that has I hate when people tap on things in videos. Sorry. This one has our deck belt on it. Let me get these clips out. And we are just oh, there's like sticky stuff here. We're just gonna sew them together, but I just remembered. I wanna put one of my labels on and I want to use one of my brand new ones. Yes. One of these. So I had Jade from the Heartwood and Hyde make my E into its own little mini logo. And then I got white printed on black because I realized um I just had pink and rainbows and while well, I love that um and I'm trying to make some like gender neutral or more manly things um not everyone loves it so I'm gonna center this right in here it's not gonna show up much but it's okay uh so if this is 10 inches and five um, and this pen will just wipe right off okay. it's kind of eyeballing it I think that's good Um, I can pull my threads to the back and tie them off because it'll be on the inside. I like to pull the first one through before I get back to it. And I like to try to go through that same pull. Okay. So I will just tie those off real quick. And then that's going to sit in between. And I'm going to stitch from the inside. But I'm going to line this all up. Oh, you know what? What we're going to do first is our stitch should be an inch and a half in on each side. So... I'm hoping okay, I can barely see it, but I think I need to put a new refill in this pen. And this just literally wipes off. So it'll be a little hard for you to see the marks, 
but maybe when I shift that you can see it some um, but we're gonna line this up as best we can Some vinyls, when you adhere the Decaville with the heat, they will shrink. So if your pieces aren't perfectly matching up, just get them um, lined up. And then after you stitch it, you can go ahead and trim. But I try to hit it with the heat real fast. And this specific vinyl, I haven't had issues with shrinkage yet. Um, but we are going to stitch all the way around the sides, and then we'll go on the inside. So I'm just going to pick somewhere to start. I'm going with a four and a half for my stitch length. down and then we're gonna go in that line we made I'm just trying to find mine Okay, so trim your threads down again. Okay. And go ahead and heat seal those. Okay, so now we've basically created where it's going to fold. And if you have any edges that aren't matching up, you can trim them. Mine actually, wow, I'm impressed with myself. Okay, so if you haven't already picked a certain side, this is where you need to. I'm going to edge coat this. Um, I think it'll be a nicer finish. But if you're not, you'll go ahead and skip to um, doing the snaps. But... This is basically what we'll be doing next. 
But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and edge coat mine. So I'll do like a time lapse of edge coating that. Time to finish. All right, so I did base coat, I did color, I did gloss. It isn't absolutely perfect, but it is what it is. Okay, so again, we're gonna fold both sides. So you're gonna end up with, you want the corner to stick there. And you want to pinch right at that corner. So here's a triangle. And then you're gonna go right in the middle of that triangle for your hole. And I'm just gonna hold it together to make said hole so that it matches. Um, and I debated using um, this to punch holes and I think I might actually go ahead and do that. I don't normally make an actual punched out hole for these um, cam snaps, but I think it might be necessary. Okay, just because I wanna make sure I'm not fighting with it this time. Okay, so just in the middle. Um, one video I watched, they, oh, I'm having a hard time placing. Um, one video I watched, they made a template to continue punching. And I think that's a great idea. Um, I'm not going to do it just because I'm only making this one right now. But if you were planning on making multiples... Like, that is such a great idea. So, in the future, I will probably be doing that. Okay, one more. I don't think my gloss coat is, like, one million percent dry, but... Okay. Okay. So you want whichever side is your like outside, you want these flat pieces to be there because you want them to snap together here. So you want a male and a female for each side or corner. So we're just gonna put those in and set them. All right, so that was a female. Male. So after you've got those like that, when you snap them together, your corner will stay together. So I'll go ahead and do the other three sides sped up so you don't have to watch it all slow. All right, so we got all of our snaps on. Just gonna go ahead and snap each corner. Oh, I love it. So you could, I don't know, it just fell in my office. You could fold those like that. Oh, it's so cool. All right, let's give it a test.
right. Lucky Duck D20 says a four. What's what's your rule? 17, yay! <laughs> Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed. Oh, I got a six there. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you make one. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.